Hello everybody in YouTube land, this is Michael Zingara, host of the 20mm uh, sci-fi wargaming show. Uh, basically today I'm going to show you uh, different stuff that I found at uh, you know dollar stores, Toys R Us, things that are uh, cheap options for vehicles. Now personally I don't like to spend more money on my hobby than I have to and uh, basically if I can find a deal I'm gonna take it and uh, make it work so basically this first tank I uh, hand brushed and uh, it makes a nice uh, troop transport this is about 90% uh, of the way done I got a few touch-ups where I screwed up areas on it but basically when I bought it at a liquor store it looks like that all right so you know I just primed it black hand uh, hand painted it I don't own an airbrush but to give you guys an idea of scale that's what it looks like compared to a uh, I believe that's a Second edition Space Marine. I don't know. It's the only Space Marine I own, and I only keep it for scale comparisons. Uh, the power armor troop that I use are made. They're these are they were called Space Rangers back in the day. I believe Grenadier made them. Uh, now EM4 sells them. I think they're a couple bucks a, a sprue, and you get three guys, and there's heavy weapon options. That guy right there, that's his main. Let's see if we can get the focus a little bit better. That's the best this phone's going to do. Uh, that's the main gun option. Right there is uh, basically a, uh, I think I basically use that as a heavy bolter. But they're nice crisp for figures for good detail. Uh, that's just basically a, a battle coated that's the first uh, primer on it that I'm doing on these guys and uh, so basically all in all it's a pretty good scale vehicle um, but that hole in the patch uh, right there I basically am just gonna put plastic card over it so let me get the uh, 360 of this tank where so you guys can see there's a lot of detail And, uh, man, I, I maybe paid, uh, oh, I don't know. I think I was under 10 bucks for this. But basically, it's kind of uh, like a striker with a more powered weapon option. Uh, you know, basically how you want to point this out, you can either do these as um, missile pods. Or they could be sensors. You can go either way. It depends how much points you want to spend on it. So basically you can get this. And look like that. And you know granted it's got some nice camouflage on it. And stuff like that. You know if you just wanted to paint the gun and stuff. And get rid of some of those crazy stickers. But the uh, main thing that I like about this weapon is. Uh, not only does it act like a troop carrier. I'm sure you could put a dozen guys in there. Uh, this part right here, um, I point out as, uh, smoke launchers. So it shoots, uh, four large smokes at a time, which actually gives your infantry a lot of cover. Even in modern warfare today, I think, uh, they underestimate the value of smoke. So tactically, this is a pretty decent vehicle. You get a lot of bang for the buck. Now, this next model is actually one that I got at Toys R Us. It's a die-cast missile launcher. This one, I think, was about 30 bucks, But basically, uh, it's such an unusual model and good idea. It's got a nice look to it. Let's put some guys in front of it so you guys can uh, see. There's the Space Ranger. And there's a Space Marine. So, 
you know, as far as the windows and doors, everything, they match up as far as the scale, which is nice. Kind of a small door there. And it's got a nice payload of missiles. And that just uh, causes havoc on your fans. Fucking great support vehicle. Uh, I'm probably going to 86 the speakers and then do just some touch-ups and stuff on it and then do that. So, that's a beautiful weapon. Low silhouette for as big as it is. And uh, uh, will cause havoc, you know. Um, I don't play 40k. I play No Limits, which basically you can bring anything you want into it. So, you know, with some of these modern vehicles, that last one, I really don't think that I would need to uh, do anything to it. This one, I'm going to probably have to add some bits and modify a little bit. But basically, it's a big honking artillery tank. It's got nice detail. Um, there's the barrel rest right here. You know, it can extend like it should for a nice artillery piece. And the uh, turret traverse is around. And here's some figures for scale. There's the Space Marine. There's the other guy. So, you know, basically, uh, it's such a simple design. I, I feel that it can make it into the future. So, uh, that's a newer one. It's just going to need a little bit of modeling, some more uh, space. Looking things, I might modify the uh, turret here and uh, put a guy in there, which is nice. All in all, a real great detailed model. I think this one comes up too, over here. Uh, for that, the driver port, but uh, basically I think this is a piece of uh, U.S. Uh, artillery. I don't know the actual uh, number, but um, it's pretty damn nice. So yeah, let's do a 360. There you guys. There's the back. I really like these features right here. Uh, adds to the realism. As far as the, the grounding right there. So that's pretty cool. And that's how the tank looks on the side. I basically make this look more sci-fi. I'm going to take a piece of plastic card, cover up some of the tread a little bit here. Maybe put some reactive type armor up there also. Make it a little bit tougher. But all in all, pretty good model. I uh, can't complain at all. And, you know, I believe this was under 30 bucks too. So, uh, in the no limits rules, I'll be able to write this up quite easily. Um, <clears throat> certain scenarios, uh, for the big artillery pieces, we actually use a four by six table for the main battle and then do a little card table for the artillery pieces. But, uh, we really get into detail. A lot of people don't go that extra mile, but, uh, it's pretty nice. So, uh, for skirmish battles, it's pretty kick butt, so. Now, basically, don't discount what you can find. Um, I've got a lot more things like this, but this will be the first one. And, uh, you know, as long as you play a universal system uh, and you can write things up, you know, Vore could let you do it. Uh, I highly recommend uh, No Limits Fantasy. And uh, it's, you know, pretty crazy how detailed these uh, toys can be, man. You know, uh, if that was a GW vehicle, I'm sure that'd be, especially a Forge World, it'd be, what, 60 bucks? <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, a Rhino, for God's sakes, it looks like a dumpster. This is, it looks a lot better, you know, especially after I uh, cover up that port right there, you know, and uh, basically age it a little bit and stuff like that. And even, you know, I might even think about uh, doing some tread cover on that. Uh, you know, why not? You know, it's a far cry from this G.I. Joe looking thing, you know? 
Uh, you know, in the 80s, I did see a lot of G.I. Joe uh, type tanks make it to the board. But uh, there's some side shots. You know, as long as it doesn't look too ridiculous, uh, you know, put it up there, you know. But, you know, don't put some Cobra Venom tanks on there. That shit's just gay. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I've watched a lot of YouTube stuff. And I'm going to try to bring you guys content that uh, you haven't seen and stuff you haven't seen and give you guys new ideas. Uh, the, I think the biggest joy in this hobby is actually creating your own forces and uh, figuring out your own army lists and stuff like that and generating your own fluff. I know a lot of people don't uh, have time for that, but I do. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, with these different universal systems and you can do something like that, I think that's the best part, one of the best parts of the hobby. All right, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, this is the 28mm Sci-Fi Wargaming Show. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys... Uh, Think in the comments and stuff like that. If you've got great models and uh, that were toys that you've uh, converted over, I'd love to see them. Make a video response on YouTube. You know, you don't necessarily have to start a whole channel. But uh, nonetheless, it'd be great to see. And if uh, you haven't tried the No Limits rule set, uh, you can find it uh, on the internet. Just Google it. It's free. You download it. I'm sure you guys will be impressed. You can handle anything from a uh, uh, trooper all the way up to a titan. There's rules and balance rules in there. And there's a point system where you can create pretty much anything and uh, it handles all the stats. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And uh, sorry about uh, all the shaky camera work. Uh, I don't have my tripod yet, so... Uh, bear with me, guys. I'm just excited about putting up content. All right. Have a good one.